Welcome to the Pain Tech Bite Size Reviews. This is for the Arduino Micro. Let's put it out of the box here. There we go. That's the little beast. So this Arduino Micro is the next step up from the um, from the Mini 05. It's a recognisable form factor in the Arduino verse now. Um, there's a lot of other boards. There we go. Get it off the phone. So that's it. It's um, it's based on an Atmega 32U4, which is the same as you find on Leonardo and an Explorer. It runs at 16 megahertz. It runs at five volts. Input voltage. Um, is recommended to be between 7 and 12 volts. It can handle 6 to 20 volts, but I wouldn't recommend that. Try and keep your power supply between 7 and 12 volts DC. Um, it can automatically change over between power via the USB and power via the relevant pins that you will find on the right pinout for this product. It has 23 digital I.O. pins that run at 5 volts, of which 7 can do PWM and it has uh, internal software pull-up resistors that will do between 20k and 50k um, 12 analog inputs two of which are dedicated 10 are shared with the digital pins so do bear that in mind uh, when you're picking your product five of the pins can be interrupt pins and as far as ram goes you've got 32 kilobytes of sketch ram and 2.5 kilobytes of program memory so and also an EEPROM in there which is one kilobyte but that's emulated EEPROM that's not a dedicated EEPROM chip uh, the USB chip there's no dedicated USB on board this board is a little bit too small to handle that um, so it's all done by the main chip so it's sort of a software emulated uh, USB the USB port is a USB type B there uh, you can't really see that too well but um, so it's USB port type B with 500 milliamps of overcurrent protection built in. Um, it has serial port uh, via the USB or a UART TTL at five volts. It does I squared C over pins two and three um, and SPI via the ICSP header, which is this bad boy right here. Um, as with all of these boards, it's got a little reset button on it just in this corner to press when you're doing your programming and such like. Weight wise, length, uh, sorry, lengthwise 48 millimeters, width 18 millimeters, and in weight it's approximately 13 grams. It doesn't really offer any shield compatibility to speak of, but it also is an extremely compact and extremely useful little board nonetheless. If you do consider making any purchases of Arduino product and you like this little review, please consider making your next purchase from paintech.co.uk. See you next time.